Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Unity of Command 2. We're playing the Desert Rats DLC. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's um, April 14th, 1941. We'll be playing Disaster in Greece. Fearing German intervention in the Greco-Italian War, the Greeks had initially been reluctant to accept any Allied ground forces on their mainland. But in February, Hitler's army started massing in Romania and Bulgaria prompting Greece to accept Allied troops. Dreaming of a Balkan front, Churchill promptly ordered Middle East Command to send two ANZAC divisions and an armored brigade to Greece. General Wavell was dismayed by this turn of events, as it precluded any further pursuit of the routed Italians in Libya. And could two divisions really stave off a determined German attack against Greece? I don't think so. I might delay them for a little bit, which is <laughs> probably the, the purpose here. Grim news. Surprise, surprise. Yugoslavia collapsed like a house of cards and consequently the Greek forces manning the Metaxas line were outflanked and have now capitulated. The result of this mess is that our small expeditionary force is exposed and in danger of being overrun. You must delay the German onslaught as you fall back towards Athens and the Peloponnese for evacuation. Keep your ANSAC force intact. This must not turn into a second Gallipoli. Fair enough. We have to hold Athens. Um, let's just start here. The Servia Pass, the first turn, just like Mount Olympus. This will be harder than this, I'd wager. Kalabaka, turn two. That should be easy. Larissa, turn three. Lamia 5, Thermopylae 6, and then we have to limit Australian losses. We do not get a deployment. This is immediately the turn already. Well, this is the strongest unit that I have, this Australian Brigade. I should probably keep it there, or get it there, right while these evacuate. Mm. I'll move the New Zealanders into the woods then. Yeah. It kind of pains me, but some of these Greek forces are going to have to get into a bit of misery here. Um... As the, uh, the Greeks will be sacrificed, unfortunately. Um, they're not coming back. And I don't want to try to hold down this uh, 9th Aschutzen Brigade. Uh, <laughs> pretty much, they're going to crush it. These will stay for now. And so I can resupply them. That's at least something. Let's move them up. All right, just checking if I'm actually recording, which I was. Let's move you up here. Mm. Actually, how are the supplies there? Okay. Right, then. So give me that and this part of Larissa because I want to dig in on, on that, basically, on the city. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, um, well, your toasts, pretty much regardless, because I would have to move them in there. Uh, I don't think I can get them over it, but 
I can. Um, the way I would have to do it then is you here, you here, supply, supply, here, and one, two, three, four, they Yeah, that's pretty much the only way I can potentially try to save those. Um, have to hold until turn three. No, that that doesn't necessarily work. I can back out of Mount Olympus now. But I probably don't want to. Well, maybe I do. No, I actually don't think so. Not this turn. Yeah. yeah. That way I can dig them in on the next turn there. Which is probably good. Then they can take the Serbia, pa Serbia pass this turn. Need to hold that for one more turn. So I can actually leave that. Yeah, okay. So let's try to save these. Because I can abandon that after this turn. And move the force there they will have to hold for one more turn then before they can move but i'm giving the ai mount olympus and the pass let's see if it's enough for now hey they might don't attack! Okay. Well, it seems like I have to abandon them, the the Greeks anyway. Um, yeah, sadly, there's a large number of stragglers in here, though. get a unit to Lamia and start digging in there. This is not good though. Thank you. 
Alright, I'm just putting these in front in the hopes that they will not attack this. And that actually, the fact that there are so many stragglers there in the end turned out to be quite bad. Um, and contrary to what I, I might want. Sadly. Interesting that the Germans didn't go that much further. It does mean... Well, these didn't even move. However, how many stragglers are there? Not that many. Wonder where they are. Naturally, I'm not going to try and save those there. Uh, um, yeah. I'll put these as rear guards so that if they attack, at least they retreat back. That seems reasonable. The... Or my main concern, however, is... Oh shit, yeah, that's no good then. Yeah, they did put artillery there. The question is, where are they more likely to act? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I just kind of feel like I, I... have to give them Larissa here this turn. And I go in here. Move here. I only have one point now, yeah. 
move in there and do that That one looks well. Where can I see where its entire force pool is? Well, those are all New Zealanders, so... Anyway... Let's get at least a unit there, because it can be pretty handy to try and defend Livadia. I have to go for eight turns total anyway. you even further they're not gonna be that much help this is certainly gonna go to zero All right I just think I'm better off just getting them in there anyway and then I have to do no retreats because they cannot leave Lamia this turn. They need to hold it. Um. Might as well move them. Ah, bullshit. <sighs> In the city, even. Wow. <laughs> well, you can't prepare for unfortunate uh, losses like that. No matter how much you try, I suppose. So probably hold them for a turn.
Then turn seven, they can keep going. Need to put my units in positions where they have reasonable way of defending. They could even themselves get into the mountains. And here I can do that too. Really? Uh, don't attack. The AI seems to have um, quite a lot of luck with their arrows. Although, there is no city there. I'll give them that. certainly do wonder how likely it is the AI will go and attack. It's just not <clears throat> all that useful to try and attack these from that position. Giving them a lot of space to move forward, which is ultimately what they want, but it doesn't matter to me. All right, we got some Greek forces, and unfortunately, they hit one of my specialist step, the most important specialist step, <laughs> with their air unit. But uh, that's about it, and that means we'll get the evacuations will continue win the disaster in Greece scenario. During the latter, later battle for Crete, Admiral Andrew Cunningham was cautioned by the army that further evacuations might entail losing too many ships, to which he replied, it takes the Navy three years to build a ship. It will take 300 years to build a new tradition. The evacuation will continue. Yeah, try to evacuate these guys too. Technically they have all these coast areas where they might escape or something. I don't know. They're not technically cut off from Athens. Anyway, I got all the objectives, so I'm fine with it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna wrap things up. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.